Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a CSR 46 Rumble Pit gameplay. The map is Dispatch. And right off the bat, you will notice where I go. I go for a sniper. I'm going for the snipe not because I want it necessarily, it's just because I think all people kind of flock to it in the beginning of this uh, match. Especially on Dispatch with our two snipes. I spawned by the other sniper, pretty fortunate. I pick it up, notice two people are fighting, I want to move in, I think one of them died so I think the other one's weak, I move in but unfortunately there are three people that kind of swarm me, I end up getting a plasma kill. So I spawn, get an assist, uh, this guy's rushing in on me, with take him out, he had a bolt shot, you can get a bolt shot in this game, I guess it's strategic because it's probably the most powerful secondary you can use but at the same time it's kind of annoying for the players who are not using it who have to face it I never, never use a bolt shot just because I think it would kind of be too easy and I know they buffed it so it's not as powerful but it still is close range uh, one shot kill kind of like a shotgun so still it's kind of overpowered and I don't like to use overpowered weapons just like I don't use Promethean Vision Whenever I play like an infinity game type, I don't use uh, bolt shot as well. So, you'll notice that whenever there's no one around you in Rumble Pit, you constantly want to look for people. Uh, you want to rush in, try to interrupt as many fights as you can. Right now I'm just being rushed by many people. I get an assist on one guy, pop out, get a few kills on another guy, or get a few shots and then I end up getting an assist again pretty unfortunate right here I just someone spawns behind me and takes me out it's just one of those rumble pit things so I get my ordinance right in front of this guy I try to chase him unfortunately he runs and he runs right into an overshield guy also great luck right there I end up beating down the overshield guy I don't get the kill I run over to this guy beat him down go for the second beatdown can't kill him so I finish him off with my pistol, just try to stay alive, and fortunately for me there is another overshield. Which means that that one guy's ordinate or that one guy's overshield must have been an ordinance. So right now I'm just shooting the jetpack people. They're kind of I never really understood jetpack, especially in Rumble Pit, kinda of leaves you open. Everyone shoots at you, you can't strafe. It's just pretty much a death trap. Right now I'm three kills down. I didn't really start the game off well, but this kid rushes me and I end up beating him down. I'm kind of fortunate to get that kill right off of my spawn. So in Rumble Pit, you kind of get lucky and you kind of get unlucky at the same time. Sometimes they spawn behind you, sometimes you get assists and you don't end up picking up a kill, but other times, just like that, you spawn and there's a guy right in front of you pretty weak and you end up taking him out it's kind of give and take in rumble pit this match I don't know if you'll notice but I don't know if you've noticed in any of the other videos that I've uh, posted my sensitivity right now is at 5 and I think it's a little bit too fast I mean, it's not too fast to the point where I can't handle it, but when it comes to BRing and hitting every shot, I think if I go down to 4, I'll be able to hit almost every shot, whereas 5 is just a bit too fast. I might do a commentary on finding the right sensitivity, because I've switched, you know, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo Reach. I didn't really play Reach that much, but in all the other Halos, I've switched my sensitivity. Halo 3, I played on 5. I played on 10 for a while in Halo 3 as well, and then Halo 2 I played on 6 or 7, I can't exactly remember, but you know each game is different, but I may do a commentary on finding your sensitivity, because it's pretty important to find the right sensitivity for you. Although 5 is pretty fast, especially in like close BR fights, it, you know you're more prone to choking, it still does work for me, because I like fast sensitivities. Uh, this guy unfortunately sticks me. 
That's the second time he's done that, and it ends my damage boost. I spawn, try to pick that guy off, I toss a nade, and he ends up killing himself, I believe. And then right here, drop shots, gets a good BR kill on me. This guy rushes me. I don't know if he had a damage boost. It kind of looks like he does, but maybe not. He ends up taking me out. As you can see, this gameplay is uh, really close. Two people with 19 kills. Now four people with 20 kills. So it's close all the way up until the end. I end up getting sawed right here. And I spawn, get an assist. It's unfortunate in um, Rumble Pit that I don't think your assists actually matter in Rumble Pit. I think you need a certain amount of kills. So even if you get tons of assists in Rumble Pit, it doesn't really matter. There's always that guy in the game who gets like 15 assists and ends up losing. And, you know, some games you are that guy and some games you aren't that guy. Because I realize the score is so close, I try to play more aggressively. For the last kill, I know that I have to rush in and I end up four-shotting this guy for the win. Um, so I got 25 kills there. It was a very close game all the way up until the end. And that was a CSR 46 gameplay on Dispatch once again. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like. And more gameplays to come, as always, and see you later.